Hi everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. A massive warm welcome back to all my regular viewers and subscribers. It's lovely to see you again and thank you for supporting the channel. A massive warm welcome to anybody who's just found the channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Stick around and consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on my next free pattern or tutorial and it also supports Rocco Baby Crochet as well. Today's tutorial we're going to be learning how to do the beautiful box stitch. Now I absolutely love this stitch. It creates such a beautiful texture. I've worked my sample piece up here for you in three colours. It looks beautiful as a solid colour or as many colours as you want to. For my sample I've worked it up in double knit yarn and I've also when I did my colour changes fastened off and secured the ends of each colour change. For this tutorial I'm just going to be carrying my ends up. Now I would only recommend you doing this if you're going to add a border onto your work. If you're not going to be adding a border then I would fasten off and secure at each colour change. You using your preferred method. Now this may be a little bit of a long tutorial, the box stitch is an eight roll repeat but it's absolutely worth it. I think it creates such a unique texture and a beautiful pattern. Once you've got in the flow with it, it's not a complicated stitch to learn but like I said it is an eight roll repeat so bear with me with this one. So this tutorial is all going to be time stamped for you just to make it easy for you to click backwards and forwards between the rows as you go along. For the tutorial today I'm going to be using a chunk yarn just so things are a little bit easier for you to see. I'll leave the names and colours of all the yarns that I use in the description to this video and also this tutorial is just about breaking down the box stitch, it's not about learning the individual stitches that the box stitch is comprised of. If you do need support in learning the stitches to make the box stitch then I'll leave the links to those tutorials in the description of this tutorial so please feel free to go and have a look at them, have a little practice of the stitches and then come back to us when you feel ready to make the box stitch. All you'll need for this is your chosen yarn and the recommended hook for that yarn. So grab your hooks, grab your yarn, grab a cuppa and let's learn this beautiful stitch together. So because the box stitch is worked in rows we're going to need to start off by making a slip knot and popping that onto our hook. The foundation chain for the box stitch is any multiple of 10 plus 2. So I'm just going to do a really small sample here and I'm going to chain 42. But you're going to want your foundation chain to be the width that you want your project at in multiples of 10 plus 2. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 42. So if you want to make your foundation chain, press pause and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row 1 and we can do that together. I've just finished my foundation chain of 42 and for row 1 we're going to start in the second chain from the hook. Now it's up to you wherever you feel most comfortable where you prefer to start working in your foundation chain. You can work from the front here in the second chain along or if like me you prefer to work into the back bumps just turn your chain over and you can work into the back bumps the back bumps are just the bumps that run down the center of every chain and each bump is a chain so starting in your second chain from the hook you're going to want to place a double crochet and then we're going to skip four chains so one two three four and into the fifth one along we're going to place a shell so the shell for the box stitch is five treble crochets a chain one and then five more treble crochets so let's make our first one so yarning over inserting your hook into that fifth chain along yarn over pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two when I am making my shells on this first row I find it helpful if I just keep hold of the next chain along because sometimes when we're making these shells it can pull the foundation chain tighter and it can be more difficult to spot this next chain so I tend to place my thumb on it just to secure it so it doesn't disappear so there's my first treble crochet and I need four more so five in total so there's two three, four and there's five and then you'll want to chain one and then going back into the same chain we're going to place five more treble crochets so there's one, two, 
three. Four. and there's five so that's your first shell made and it should look a little bit like that for you next what we want to do is we're going to skip four more chains so one two three four and into this fifth one we're going to place a double crochet and we're just going to do that all the way along so we'll skip another four chains one two three four and in the fifth one along we'll place another shell so the shell is five treble crochets a chain one and then five more treble crochets all into the same chain so there's two three four and five chain one and then five more treble crochets to complete that shell one two three four and five so you want to make your way all the way across for row one. So next you will skip four chains and into the fifth one place another double crochet. Then you'll skip four chains and into the fifth one place a shell. And keep alternating that all the way across for row one. Your very last stitch of row one should be a double crochet in your last chain. So if you want to press pause while you work your way across and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row two and we can do that together. I've just placed my last shell of my small sample and I've got got one two three four there's my fifth chain so I know that my stitch count is correct into that very last chain there I'm going to place a double crochet at the end of row one your work should be looking a little bit like this to move up to row two you're going to chain one and turn your work into this very first stitch here where our chain one is coming out of we're going to place a double crochet and then around these five treble crochets here we're going to place one front post double crochet around each of them so drop your hook down around that post and back out the front yarn over pulling up a loop yarn over pull through two around each of those treble crochets we're going to place one front post double crochet so there's two three four and there's five then we need to chain one and then around each of the five treble crochets that make up the second half of the shell we're going to place one front post double crochet around each of those so there's one two three four and five next we're going to place a front post double crochet around this post of the double crochet from row one and then we'll just repeat that all the way across so I'll skip over to my next treble crochet and place a front post double crochet around that one and one around the next four treble crochets and then we'll chain one and then we'll place one front post double crochet around each of the remaining treble crochets for that shell so there's four and here's my last one for the shell and then I'll place a front post double crochet around the double crochet from row one. So you'll repeat that all the way across. We'll be finishing on a regular double crochet here 
in this very last double crochet of row one but if you want to press pause until you get up to that point and then come back to me we can finish off row two and move up to row three together I've just placed my last front post double crochet and I'm gonna place a regular double crochet in this very last stitch of the row now it's here where you want to do your color change so if you want to fasten off and then secure your end and then do your color change how you prefer it that's completely up to you just for this tutorial I'm going to be carrying my yarn up as I mentioned earlier to you so I'm going to start my double crochet drop that color and just add in my second one now remember I would only do this method if you're planning on adding a border to your work. So to move up to row 3 you are going to chain 4. Now this chain 4 counts as a treble crochet and also a chain 1. So you're going to yarn over pull through 4 times, 3 and 4 and turn your work. And into that same stitch there we're going to place a treble crochet. Next we're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and three and we're going to work our next stitch into the chain space at the top of the shell which is furthest away from us so insert your hook into that chain space there and place a double crochet next you'll want to chain three one two three and we're going to work our next stitch in the double crochet from row two which is furthest away from us so we're going to skip these five trebles here and work into the sixth stitch along which should be your double crochet and you're going to place a treble two chains and then back into that same stitch with another treble so let's do that together so we're placing a treble chain two and then back into that double crochet with another treble. You're then going to chain three again, skip the five treble crochets furthest away from you and into your next chain one space work a double crochet, chain three, skip your five trebles from row two and into the double crochet, place your treble, chain two and a treble crochet. So a treble, chain two and then back into that same stitch with another treble. And you repeat that all the way across, chaining three and placing a double crochet in the chain one space at the top of your shell stitch, chaining three, skipping the five treble crochets running along the back and placing a treble crochet, chaining two and back into that stitch with a treble crochet all the way across and when you're coming up to the end of row three come back to me and we can finish that off together. I've just placed my double crochet in the last of my shells and I'm going to chain three, skip my five trebles, one, two, three, four and five and into your very last stitch you're going to be placing a treble crochet chaining just one this time and going back into that same stitch and placing a second treble crochet. To move up to row four we need to chain one and turn our work. Into this very first stitch here we're going to place a double crochet. Next we're going to chain one, skip our chain below and work into our next treble crochet and place another double crochet. Then you'll chain three, two and three and place another double crochet on top of your double crochet from row three. Chain three, one, two and three. Skip your chains and place another double crochet into the top of your treble crochet from row three. Skip your three chains below and work a double crochet in the top of that treble crochet in row three chain two, one, two and place a double crochet in the top of your next treble from the row below and you'll do that all the way across so next I'm going to chain three and place a double crochet in the double crochet from the row below, chain three, place a double crochet in the top of my treble crochet from the row below, chain two skip the two chains below and place a double crochet in the top of the treble from the row below and continue working that all the way across until you come to the end when you're coming up to the end come back to me and we can move up to row five together so i'm just going to make my last chain three 
and I'm going to skip these chains like I have done for the rest of the row and place a double crochet here in my treble crochet and then I'm going to chain one and then what you want to do here is you want to place your last double crochet of row four in the third chain so if you remember we chained four so we're counting up one two three and it's into that third one that we're placing our last double crochet to move up to row five you're going to chain four one two three and four and turn your work next we're going to be working into this space here so we're going to drop down these two rows and work into this space here between your chain three and your treble crochet and you're going to work five treble crochets so you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that space and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you want five treble crochets into that space so there's my first one two, three, four and back into the for the last time placing your fifth treble crochet. Next you want to skip across and we're going to drop back down to this row here and where we've got the chain one space that we created when we made our shells you're going to place a double crochet into that chain one space there. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Next we're going to skip across to this next space here between our two treble crochets and we're going to place a shell there. So we're going to place five treble crochets, chain one and then five treble crochets all into that same space. So we're going to place five treble crochets, so there's one, two, three, four and five, chain one and then back into that same space and place five more treble crochets to complete your shell. So there's one, two, three, there's four and five. So you may just need to shuffle your trebles around a little bit just to make them all fit in as I just pushed mine up a little bit then. Then you're going to skip across to this next chain space here in your shell below and you're going to insert your hook into that chain one space and place a double crochet. Next we're going to skip across to our space here between our two trebles and place another shell so it'll be five trebles a chain one and five trebles so there's two three four and five chain one and then back into the same space to complete our shell so there's one two three, four, and there's five. So you'll repeat that all the way across for row five, placing a double crochet in your chain one space from your shell below, and then placing a shell between your two treble crochets here. Double crochet in your shell below, in your first colour, and then come back to me when you get to the end of your row here, and I'll show you how we finish off this row, and we can move up to row six together. I've just placed my last double crochet in my shell and I'm moving across to my chain one space now in between these two stitches here and what you want to do here is I find it handy to just take hold of this very last stitch here so I don't lose it when I'm crocheting so pinch that stitch there and you're going to work five treble crochets into that chain one space so there's one two, three, 
four and then back in for the last time so that's five so we've got half a shell then you chain one and then into this stitch that we just kept hold of so we didn't lose it we're just going to place a regular treble crochet yarning over going into the top of that stitch and placing a treble crochet as usual to finish off row five so your work should be looking a little bit like this at the end of row five to move up to row six we're going to chain two and turn our work we're going to skip this treble crochet here and starting in the first of the five that we did we're going to place one front post double crochet around each of those so inserting our hook yarning over and placing a double crochet around the post of each of those five treble crochets from the row below so there's three There's four, and here's my fifth one. Next, we're going to pop a front post double crochet around the post of the double crochet from the row below. Insert your hook around the post of that double crochet and place a front post double crochet around it. Next, we're going to place a front post double crochet around each of the next five treble crochets. So inserting your hook around the post from the front and placing a double crochet. So there's one, two, there's three, four and five. Which brings us to the top of our shell. So we're going to chain one and then place one front post double crochet around the post of the next five five treble crochets so there's one two three four and there's five so that brings me back to my next double crochet and again I'm gonna place a front post double crochet around that stitch and you repeat that all the way along placing one front post double crochet around each of your trebles a chain one at the top and then a front post down this side of your shell and a front post double crochet around the double crochet from the row below when you're coming up to here on your last half a shell for this row six come back to me at that point we'll finish it off and move up to row seven together so i've just placed my last front post double crochet around the last of my treble crochets and what I've got left now here is my chain four from the row below so what you want to do is chain one and we're going to place a double crochet in the third chain up so if you turn your chains to the side a little bit you'll be able to see the chains a little bit more clearly so you can see that we've got four chains there one two three four it's into this third one up here that we want to place our last double crochet. So we're skipping this one here and placing our double crochet to finish row six in the next chain along. So the third chain from the bottom. Insert your hook into that third chain and place your double crochet to finish off row six. Now this is where you would fasten off and do your colour change. But just for this tutorial, I'm just going to drop mine and finish off my double crochet in my third colour. Now you feel Feel free to use whichever method you prefer here to do your colour change and secure your work. And to move up to row seven, you are going to chain one and turn your work. Into this first stitch here that our chain one is coming out of is where we're going to place our first double crochet. And then we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, we're going to skip these five trebles here that run down the back and into our double crochet in the row below the one that's furthest away from us we're going to place a treble crochet chain two and then go back into that double crochet and place a second treble crochet next you're going to chain three two 
and three and into the chain space from the row below in the shell furthest away from you you're going to place a double crochet chain three again skip your five trebles along the back and into your double crochet place a treble chain two and back into that double crochet and place a second treble chain three and into your chain one space at the top of your next shell furthest away from you place a double crochet and you repeat that all the way along when you're coming up towards the end here if you want to come back to me at that point and I'll show you how we finish off row seven together so I've just placed my last combination of treble chain two and a treble to finish off row seven you're going to chain three and then you're going to place one double crochet into the very first chain of the row below so you should have one chain here that you'll skip and place your double crochet in the very last chain to move up to row eight you're going to chain one and turn your work and here what we want to do is we're going to place a double crochet in the top of this very first double crochet from the row below next we're going to chain three skip the chains below and place a double crochet in the top of this first treble crochet here chain two skip the two chains below and place a double crochet in the treble crochet in the row below chain three Skip the chains below and place a double crochet in the double crochet in the row below. Chain three, skip the chains and place a double crochet in the treble below. Chain two, and then place a double in the treble in the row below. And you repeat that all the way across. So chain in three, Skip these three and place a double in your next double crochet. Chain three, skip these three and place a double here in the top of your next treble. Chain two, skip these two and place a double in your next treble. So meet me when you come in towards the end of row eight and we'll move up to row nine together. So I've just placed my last double crochet in the top of my last treble. I'm going to chain three, one, two and three and place my last double crochet in the top of this last double crochet here in the row below. So to move up to row nine, and row nine is the last row in this row repeat, you're going to chain one and turn your work. So where we're gonna place our first stitch is we're gonna drop down three rows to this row here, and we're working on the shells which are closest towards you. And in between this chain four at the beginning and this first treble crochet that we've got, you've got a chain one space. And you're going to insert your hook into that chain one space and place a double crochet there. So drop your hook around the front, insert your hook into your chain one space and place a double crochet into that space there. Next, we're gonna skip across to our next chain two space between our two treble crochets and we're gonna place a shell in this space here. So our shells are five treble crochets, chain and five treble crochets. So we're gonna place a shell into that chain two space just there in between our two treble crochets, two rows below. So this is my third. So there's four, five trebles back into that same chain two space and place five more treble crochets. So there's one, two, three, you may have to just push them over a little bit to make sure that they all fit in, there's four, and there's five. 
So there we've just created our shell. Then we're gonna drop down and in the chain space of the shell below, just here, we're gonna place a double crochet. Then we're gonna skip across to our next chain two space in between our two treble crochets and place another shell. So that's five treble crochets, a chain, and then five treble crochets. So there's two, three, four, and five. Chain, just gonna push them over a little bit to give myself a bit more space and then place my next five trebles back into that same chain two space. So that's two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna move across to my next shell below and into the chain one space again, I'm gonna place a double crochet. And you're just going to do this all the way across for row nine. So you'll be placing a double crochet in the top of your shell below in the chain one space, then moving across to your chain two space in between your two treble crochets and placing a shell there. Then you'll move across to your next shell here and place a double crochet in the chain one space right in the middle and if you come back to me once you've worked this shell in your last chain two space we can finish off the row together i've just worked my last shell of row nine and where we're placing our last stitches in between this treble crochet here and then our set of five if you remember we did a chain one space so you're inserting your hook into that chain one space there and placing your last double crochet of row nine. And that's the end of your row repeats. So your work will hopefully be looking something like this at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this stitch. I have so much fun with it. Once you get going and you've done the repetition of rows two to nine a couple of times, then it is easy and you'll not have to go backwards and forwards over this tutorial quite as much. Don't forget it is all time stamped. So after this, when we've just finished row nine, you're gonna go back to row two and repeat row two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, over and over until your project reach the height that you want it to be at. So if you've got any questions about this stitch or there's a stitch that I've not filmed yet and you really like to learn, drop me a comment in the comment box below and I'll try my best to get that filmed for you or any questions that you may have answered. If you have enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It just means that you won't miss out on my next free tutorial or pattern and it really does support Rocco Baby Crochet as well. So I hope you have a lot of fun practicing this stitch and I'd love to see how you use it over on the Facebook page. It would be lovely if you joined us over there as well and share pictures of some of your recent projects. We've got a lovely little community building and it's lots of fun getting to chat to everybody. So I hope you all have a great week. Take care. Happy hooking. Bye.